Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you the differences between the XP600, also known as the F1080, little differences there. The i1600 print head and the Epson 3200 HD. I have a machine with all of these heads here. First, let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison of the print quality and the speeds of these machines. All of these machines will be printing white color, CMYK and gloss at the same time. So let's introduce you to these machines. This one over here is the 6090. It's printing with three print heads, um, one being white, one being color, one being gloss. Uh, they're all printing the iMagic inks that work great in the Epson head. This one over here is running the um, i1600U print heads. Uh, three of them, it's running um, one for color, one for varnish, one for white, uh, and all those together to create the uh, 24 inch sticker. This is the J650 Lightning. It's printing with one print head, the i3200 HD. And in one print head, it's printing white, varnish and color all within the one print head so we can calibrations easy and whatnot. So just for a retrospect, this print head's about $1,500 for one print head. This one is running three UV, which is the i1600U print head. Don't get that confused with the i1600A print head, which is about half the cost. This is the i1600U print head. They are roughly eight to $900 a piece and we're running three of them. This machine is running the XP600 print heads. Uh, those are roughly $300, maybe a little less, $300 a piece and we're running three of them. So it's $1,000 worth of print heads. This one has eight times three, $2,400 print heads. This has $15 print heads. So let's get them all compared together and let, let's see what happens. I've never done this before. I've compiled the exact same image. We're going to print the exact same size. Everything's going to be printing on its fastest setting possible uh, and bi direction. So it's a fair challenge. So we're printing with the XP600, we're going to be printing bi direction eight pass. With the 1600, we're going to be printing uh, bi direction six passes. The 3200, we're going to be printing bi direction. Um, this one's also six pass. All right, let's get to it. This image that we set up is going to be printing white color and varnish all in one pass. And I want to make sure that you know that all the images are the exact same size. They're all 12 by 12 images. So 12 inch by 12 inch image, all exactly the same. Let's get to it. All right, here we go. This is going to be a little bit of a race. I'm going to click uh, print on this machine. to will give it a little handicap because I know that's the slowest machine here. I like to make sure I watch them get started. Then we'll jump over to the 1600 to get it started. Make sure your varnish lamp's on and your white lamp's on them. <laughs> All right. Okay, next. This one, it's important our laminator's turned up. Our vacuum tables are turned on. A little bit of a problem. One thumb drive. And now we go. All right, over here. Load it in and print. Now we wait. We're sitting at the XP600, which had a big handicap. It is close to halfway done. I'm going to go with the 1600 for about 25% of the way done. And then the 3200, we're sitting at about, we're right at his eyes, so maybe 25% of the way done. We could come to the software and we could see it's only printing at 2.5 meters an hour. This one could print up to five. If it went the full 24 inches, we could print up to five meters an hour, square meters. This says we only have a minute and 20 seconds left and it's only been printing a minute 10. It's almost done actually. This one we're looking at about, this one's already overtaken this one. This one says we have three minutes left and it's already been printing for two minutes and it's printing at 1.1 square meters an hour. Then the XP600 has been, got four minutes, we hit 50% exactly. Four minutes left, four minutes time remaining and it's printing at 0.74 square meters. I'd say the print quality is about the same between all of them. Oh, this one was done. 
two minutes and 25 seconds for a 12 by 12 area print, full color, white and varnish. Let's get it through the laminator. Wow, that blew these two away. We still have a minute and 37 seconds is what it says. This machine, we still have two minutes and 41 seconds left to print. By the way, this information is in your uh, print EXP. They're all running the same software. This one's running REN, which is made by the same manufacturer. Different look, set up just a little different, but all the information under your print tab is down low underneath your image where you're printing. Tell you what, I'll go ahead and hit this one up again. See if we can get a second one done before this one. I don't know. It says a minute and 50 seconds left. Oh, this one completed. It says six minutes and 48 seconds. This one just completed. That one is, what, halfway through? Okay, so they're, they're done. The 650 finished first, even though it started last. The 1600, I would hit at medium. And then the uh, XP600 went the slowest. So the XP600, this one took six minutes, 48 seconds to print. It's the easiest print to show you because we printed on a hard surface. This is XP600 quality. That's actually pretty good for the image. And we printed uh, a light varnish, a light white, and a uh, full color. Okay, let's look at the 1600. This one printing $2,400 with a print head with the i1600U. Five minutes and three seconds, which is what? A three minute improvement, a little over three minute improvement from the XP600s. This is the print we got out of it. Printing, uh, you know, the D UV DTF. From the 650 Lightning, we printed two minutes and 25 seconds to complete one 12 by 12 area. That is significantly faster than the F1080s, XP600s, and the 1600. So two minutes, 25 seconds, five minutes, three seconds, six minutes, 48 seconds. Let's take a look at it. And that is from the J650. So still a high quality image. Okay guys, so that was the race between the F1080 or the XP600, the i1600 U head, and the 3200 HD head, and the 650 Lightning. Um, if you got any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for stopping.